to reiterate, um, it's very important there's no dancing at all. <laughs> Obviously, for me and Terry, this is really weird. So, uh, normally there's a, there's a mosh pit down here. Uh, uh, about two thirds of the way through the gig, normally uh, Terry lies on his back and then <laughs> kind of serves him as he plays it, but we can't, we can't be having that tonight. So uh, yeah, just restrain yourself. Weird old world.
anyway, <laughs> whereas I've gone for the hairdresser who's got a bit too excited uh, and got a customer who's cut too much off. <laughs> and the, uh, there's probably a happy medium somewhere. Yes. Um. through 
after you've said something you just really wish I, mean, we were talk I was talking to somebody uh, outside before we were talking about what um, what superpower you most want and, and the conclusion we was a toss up there was invisibility was discussed flying but uh, the ability to come back with a witty retort straight away uh, would be mine and I was doing I got into the first verse of Parallel and of course it would have been brilliant having talked about the haircuts but I said there's a parallel world where we both got good haircuts um, I almost stopped the song to, to do that but uh, anyway
timing. <laughs>
this is a love song. I don't give a shit about you. Never leave. 
Yeah. 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 It's always, I always love it when you start playing a song and somebody starts whooping because they recognise it. It's just a bit galling when it's, uh, it's the first time they've whooped and it's the only song you've played so far that you haven't written. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's, uh, it's written into the contract of uh, all performers uh, playing now in these rather strange times. Around about this time, uh, it's important that we talk about uh, the effects of Covid and how it's affected us as musicians. Uh, we talk about our new album, which is called Isolation, uh, which was written uh, whilst in a bedroom, uh, whilst we in lockdown. Um, uh, I'm slightly pissed off, if I'm honest, because me and Terry have been writing miserable uh, songs uh, for, you know, Bad, bad timing again, isn't it? But uh, we've been, you know, and now everyone's jumping on this whole. Oh, we're really miserable. Uh, <laughs> we've been doing it for ages. Yeah, whatever. So, um, um, but um, some of the songs that we've written now, I suppose maybe we can we can uh, we can present them again. I, they were written. Uh, so, I'm going to play this song, which was written. Uh, way back and uh, in times when COVID was just a bad scrabble hand. <laughs> um, and, um, and people would go, that's not a word. Uh, but, um, uh, and it, uh, this one was, uh, was written about something else, was, was written, but I suppose it's something that's, that's affected us all. You know, it's, a, it's about sort of mental health, it's about kind of that, that point when uh, you're trying to get through something and you're, you're, you're trying to um, convince yourself that everything's going to be okay and you're not quite sure whether uh, this convincing is, is real or whether you're kidding yourself, whether there's a light at the end of the tunnel or whether it's just uh, an express train coming to hit you. Um, so, uh, but this one um, uh, seemed uh, strangely prescient uh, when we uh, started rehearsing it.
Yeah. Unless, of course, we get an encore. <laughs> Well, the chances and everyone will have forgotten about encores um, in such a long time. Um, but I um, uh, 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 just want to say uh, a big thanks. Uh, big thanks to Archie. Can we have a, a big round of applause for Archie? We were going to set up a merch stall down there in the, in the depths down there, but it sort of felt a bit out of the way. So uh, uh, I'm going to, we're going to be out about five minutes afterwards, we're going to be out the front. I'm going to be selling them out the back of my uh, estate car, which is just outside the gates. The VW is on the left hand side. Uh, like uh, some kind of um, uh, Rodney. Yeah. And yeah. laptops, yeah. mobile phones. Yeah, so got any laptops? Um, got some jump leads, got some <laughs> jump leads, um, and some Wellington boots. Um, it's always nice to be uh, recognised. You know, when you turn up at the show, you're walking through the audience, and uh, somebody recognises you. And some people over there, they went, "Excuse me, I, are you the bloke who runs Shore and Flyover Car <laughs> Yeah, um, best car boot sale in Sussex. It's definitely the coolest, the coolest car boot sale around these parts. The only one with a with a miserable indie uh, musician. <laughs> well, there's the one near Hagen's Heath that Brett Anderson does, but um, it's not that good. It's not that good. He's always, he's always, there's always a commotion. Him and Bernard. Oh, yeah. They're supposed to be sorting out the cars and Brett and Bernard. Yeah. Stay for the songs. Stick, stick with the singing, uh, Brett. That's why, that's why I tell him when we get together. Uh, anyway, uh, well, again, talking, I mean, again, you kind of revisit the songs and, you know, sometimes they, you know, they take on different meanings. Uh, in different times. I'm not saying this is our drive, like the cars, uh, which took on a, a different meaning uh, uh, in 1984. Uh, but, uh, but for sure, this song, when we first did this song, it was uh, when me and Terry got back together, it was like, uh, it, was really, it was really weird, and I found it uh, strangely uh, moving, and I was um, on the verge of tears uh, when, uh, when we performed it the first time. Uh, and and uh, maybe it's about where we are now. Anyway, so. I'll try it on this tune. <laughs> try it on this tune. <laughs>
Breaking 
Thank <laughs> you. 